length and area. Well, we know that the circumference C equals pi D. We're very used to that. Here we have a circle. The circumference is 15 centimeters. So I know the diameter is 15 centimeters and pi is 3.14. We've been told to use 3.14 and we're working out the circumference. So, well, let's work it out together just as a way of refreshing our memories. C equals pi D. You can't write that enough. The more you write it, the more you remember it. So then we are using pi as 3.14 times 15 centimeters. Make the habit of writing that 15. Some leave it out and then you forget to write it in the answer and lose some marks. So C here would equal, where well, we need some space to work. Let's come over here. 3.14 times 15. Long multiplication. We've been doing this since class 4. It's not difficult for us. 4 times 5 is 20. Write down the 0. Try the 2. 1 times 5 is 5 plus the 2. 7. 5 times 1, 15. That's our first line. First number on the second line is always 0. 4 times 1 is 4. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. Add them together. 0, 11. Carry the 1. 7, 4. And then where's our point? Well, we look at the question, the problem here, 2. So it must be here. And then we put the answer in 47.10 centimeters. That's our answer there. And uh, let's mark it. Where are the marks? Well, you should really get one mark for writing the formula, one mark for showing your working, and two marks for the answer. So this is out of four. Obviously, you're not doing this one. The next one you're doing, but now you know how you're going to get marks. You're going to get one mark for writing the formula, one mark for showing your working, and one mark, two marks for the final answer. That's how you get the marks in the exam as well. So now it's your turn. Here we are. Um, 